Hi Libra, welcome to this reading. And what does this person want to say to my viewer, please? What messages does this person have? Oh, okay. Wow, I know it might be too late by the time I figure things out. So, you might be in separation. Maybe you haven't heard from them in some time and you're wondering what's going on. Um, are they even interested? You know, do they want this connection as well? So this is telling me they do. It might be that they have things to express to you um, that they haven't already. Um, it could be that they're taking time to figure things out. Um, this this card really makes me feel like they've taken a while already, to be honest, and both of you are wondering about timing, you know, um, are they ever going to come forward? Is it going to be too late? Should you wait? Should you move on? So this tells me they are still thinking about you. Now, even if you're in a relationship already, you know, even if you live together, there might be some, some difficulties here and your person is saying there's a behaviour they've got to change or a way of seeing things, but there's something they have to figure out and they're hoping, um, I suppose that you will be patient a little while longer and I know some of you watching will say, yes, I, I can be, I will be, I'm happy to be and others of you will feel that you've really, um, you've been as patient as you can for as long as you can and it might be time to move on or at least to pull back your energy and focus on yourself and that's fine you know whatever whatever works for you okay i keep comparing others to you so your person does think about you a lot um perhaps lots of people remind this person of you and nobody's really living up to you wow would you reject me so perhaps something they're working on is being able to take off a mask to show you their true self. This might be new for them. Maybe um, they've always worn masks and they're wondering if they can build up the courage to, to you know, show you the truth of who they are, to tell you about these thoughts or feelings they, they've been holding back. Will you accept them? Will you reject them? I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. Yeah, you see, so something has happened here and it doesn't have to be that you had an argument, it could be, um, or an active falling out. It can definitely be those things, but it can also be that, um, you know, they, they kind of screwed up by being inauthentic, by deliberately lying or lying by omission, you know. Ooh, you are an angel. Yeah. So your person's message today is they see you as being perfect. Now, you might say, I'm not perfect. I haven't got everything figured out. But, but they're saying, I feel like you do. And I know I've got to, to figure things out. Um, when I come forward, will you still be there? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. So is this what they messed up? Did they sort of go off into another connection or um, put their time, their focus, their attention on something else or towards something else and they've realised this other thing isn't better? Often when I see this card, it makes me think of um, the Six of Swords because sometimes what it means is your person found the connection quite stressful, quite challenging in some ways. I'm sure you have at times as well. And they felt, they believed that if they pulled back if you know maybe if they even pushed you away if they withdrew um they would feel better you know they wouldn't be as stressed they wouldn't think about you as much they would feel maybe more like their old selves again but but what happens is that doesn't work um and they realize well you know being in separation is not better because i think <laughs> i think about i think about you just as much you know um i'm i'm as stressed out as i was before except now you're not here for me to see for me to talk to you yeah, see, my mind and heart always comes back to you. Exactly. Okay, and we have you all I've ever wanted. Okay, so from these cards, we can already see that your person is saying, right now, the focus in their mind is on them. They've got something they want to figure out. They know they've taken quite a while already. And that's why they're saying, will you still be there by the time they do figure this out? Um, are you going to accept their true selves? Perhaps, perhaps nobody else has, or maybe, for example, when they were young, you know, their parents said you you need to be more like this and less like that. And since that point, you know, for years and years, years, decades, even, um, your person has kept on a mask, kept their true self hidden, and they've also done something that they're regretting here. 
And it's almost like during this um, difficulty, separation, whatever it is you're going through, they're realizing that you are everything they have wanted. And that's why they feel that they, they've really screwed up. Okay, so let's put these two on one side. And let's get some channeled messages before we head into the tarot messages. Okay, so can we get some channeled messages, please, from this person to my viewer? I'm hearing Virgo and Capricorn in my mind. Okay, we have I want to live with you um, facing me. So it looks to me like this, you know, this person saying I want a serious commitment. Also, if um, if some of them have got to change up a situation to be with you, let's say they're living with someone else, whether it's um, a karmic, uh, flatmates, housemates, um, parents, whatever it is, it's like they're saying, <laughs> not to make it super practical, but, you know, um, if we were to move forward, would how would, you know, how would this work? Would we find our own place? Would I move in with you? Um, so, you know, they are thinking very seriously about this and it's very, um, their approach seems to be very grounded right now. You're my secret. So, um, for some of you, it might be that this has to be kept quiet for now. Um, for others of you, this person is saying this connection is very precious and that I just, I'm choosing not to talk about it. I don't want other people, uh, getting involved. I don't want other people's opinions confusing me. I don't want to share you. I don't want to share this connection with anyone. I'm hearing a uh, pineapple. I'm sure I had that, you know, months and months ago, pineapple came out. Again, it could be the fruit. It could be, um, I know there's like pineapple dance studios, maybe dance is important. Um, pineapple drink, I don't know. We have head versus heart and Oh, please stop chasing me. So if you've been chasing this person, I think they might be saying what I really need from you right now, if you if you're you know, if you're okay with giving it more time is patience because I know I have to figure things out. And if you're if you're chasing me and if I was to stop and turn around to speak with you, you'd realize I haven't got everything completely figured out yet and you'd only be disappointed, you know, and I am concerned um that you might reject me because you're all I've ever wanted and and I want to feel good you know I want to feel good enough I want to feel good about myself before moving forward here okay any other messages please yes wish mm, wish I could change your family and or friends so in my mind this is sort of talking about um if you have interfering parents or friends but specifically if you are in a relationship your person that you're watching this video for is saying um, you know i wish i wish you didn't i wish that you you didn't have a partner or i wish that maybe um your family and friends weren't dissuading you or um you know, trying to pull you away from me. So there's someone around you. This won't be for all of you. I, I think if this is for you, you will know because it might be that your parents, your your family, your close friends do not like the person you have in mind or they're saying, you know, don't bother with that person. They're a waste of time, that sort of thing. Um, or you are in a relationship, in a marriage, something like that. Um, and, and your person here is saying, I wish I could change that. You know, the, the, the people around you, the, the people closest to you. But this, this isn't them saying, <laughs> you know, I want to isolate you, I hate your whole family. It's just someone you know who maybe you even have felt that although this person has your best interest at heart, they kind of don't really get your connection. You know, um, someone who might be a little bit, not in the way, but causing a hold up or a blockage, something like that. Oh, I'm also hearing it could be something to do with the situation, the way in which you met, the circumstances. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, okay, let's say the person you're watching this video for works with your one of your parents. You know that maybe they think your your mother, your father is great, but it does make it slightly awkward for them to try to um, be with you. That sort of a thing. 
Okay, I'm all over the place. Yeah, I guess this is why they need a bit more time to figure things out. I pretend you're with me during the day. So we have them thinking about you, pretending that um, that you are with them during the day. And we also have them comparing others to you. So this person thinks about you a lot in many different ways throughout the day. Let's get some more. Anything else? We have unresolved father issues. So this could be um, your person saying, you know, maybe uh, their father told them when they were younger, you need to, you know, <clears throat> be more manly or, or something like that. I don't know. You know, don't show your emotions or, um, or I don't know, if you're dealing with a woman, maybe they had a difficult relationship with their father. You know, I don't know what it is, but your person's saying there's something here concerning their father and... Um, it, it's something they're working through. It could even be, it doesn't always have to be negative. Maybe, they, um, maybe they're very close and they have a very good relationship with their father here or a father figure, but they know that, um, let's say there are religious differences between the both of you and it might cause some concern to this person. You know, there's something here around a strong fatherly presence or their father that they're carrying or needing to work through. So a bit of a blockage there. And this, I'm all over the place. It's interesting how it landed with head over heart. You know, so clearly your person's mind might be saying one thing, but their heart is saying another. So maybe their mind is saying, well, where would we live? How would I tell this person? There are people around you who might not like me, but their heart is saying, just, you know, keep taking steps, one and then another and then another, and all the, all, all of these things will get worked out. You know, it, it will be that you, you get to the... I don't know, step number 10, and you turn around and you realise that you've managed to figure all these steps out as you have, have moved along. It's not that you have to figure them all out in advance. Okay, is there anything else from this deck, please, before we move into tarot? Any other messages from my viewers? <clears throat> okay, wow, we have I'm pissed off. So let's just see, what exactly are they so angry about? Ah, wish I could be there for you. Makes sense. So this person's saying, I'm, I'm really angry about how long this is taking. I'm really annoyed um, that there's a blockage on my side. I'm, I'm that, you know, that I feel there's someone between us, maybe someone on your side. That's annoying me. I'm annoyed that I'm all over the place, that I'm confused, that I've messed up. Um, yeah, so your person's being quite hard on themselves. They might be feeling frustrated. I feel, you know, it's more frustration maybe than, than straight up anger here. Okay, so let's move into tarot. Okay, Spirit, can you please bring through the highest and best messages for my viewers and share all of the messages that their person wants to pass on, please? So what are the messages from my viewer or from my viewers? From my people. Let's see. Virgo energy again. I'm feeling strong, strong Virgo today. Could be that you or your person, you know, you have Virgo in your chart, but also the energy of Virgo, very detail focused, detail oriented. Um, as I said, wanting to know all of the steps ahead rather than taking a step, figuring it out, taking a step, you know, or just knowing a couple of steps in advance. OK, so messages, please, from this person with a page of pentacles. That's making me think of that father issues uh, card. Yes, definitely. They're saying something about their foundation needs to change. And it could be a foundation that was created in childhood here. And it served them well. But do you know what it's done? It's created a life that's inauthentic. It's drawn people towards them who like them for their mask. Um, and they're realising that that's not working for you because you see beyond the mask. You want what's underneath. And now they're saying, well, fine, but now I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to revisit childhood. Um to to heal those wounds to heal to heal the the belief that i cannot show this version of myself we have scorpio energy here virgo again you see how they your person's being withdrawn they're being reflective they're going within whatever this is that they've got to remove and i i'm not thinking it's so much about 
you know, like a karmic or anything like that. Maybe, maybe, you know, they have karmics or they have external um, blockages or influences. But what they're really saying is um, those situations are byproducts of what's going on within. You know, maybe they were told when they were growing up, this is, you know, you have to get a job, you have to get married, you have to have children, you have to have this sort of house, you have to do these sorts of hobbies. Um, and, you know, thus they have the life they have. But they're saying, well, I have to go back in and I have to speak with my inner child and and let my inner child know that actually it's OK to be who, who I felt that I was all along, you know, the person that I pushed away. So your person doesn't seem to be, um, you know, out there living the life. If you're not in communication and you're wondering what is it that they're doing, I think they're being very introspective here. Okay, what other messages, please? I'm also getting that even if they um, are regularly around people, if they have a family or, um, you know, they're always being quite social and sociable, um, your person feels very lonely. Even if it looks from the outside that, you know, they, they have the, the best time, they've got their family, they, they always see their friends, they're always doing something, they, they always feel alone. See, exactly, the Six of Swords in the reverse. So they're revisiting childhood, they're revisiting that moment or those early experiences where, um, in which they were trying to be them themselves, but they kept being told that self isn't good enough or that self doesn't fit, you know, with, with the rest of us, so change. Also, remember the, the card, what was it? The grass wasn't greener. And I said it reminded me of the Six of Swords. Where is it? Yeah, here, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So if they have pulled away or they've tried to push this connection away, you know, maybe they just straight up ghosted you or something like that. They're saying, I realise that didn't fix anything and I'd like to return and uh, I have a small gift. I have a small offering for you. So let's see, what's this gift? What's this offer, please, that this person is bringing towards my viewer or wanting to bring towards them? Oh, goodness. OK. <laughs> well, they're saying to you, I'm struggling, actually. I, I'm struggling to find a good gift because I, f I look at you and I see that you have everything you could need. Material things, um, you know, uh, happiness, health. Now, maybe you're saying I don't have everything, but your person feels that you do. So they're saying, well, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on trying to figure out what this gift could be, what would be good enough for you, because a page coming towards an empress, even if you do take my gift, I'm sure you would just be humouring me. Um, so that's how they're feeling. So your person seems to be stuck on what exactly it is that they could bring to you to kind of make up, uh, to make up for pulling away, what they could give to you that would be of value. But I feel you as the empress, you know, whether you are a woman or a man watching this, you might be saying... I have lots of things, if that's, you know, if you do resonate with that energy, but I'm not interested in the material value of something. I'm interested in maybe the sentimental value or um, the energy, the effort that's gone into its creation, whatever this is. Um, but your person's saying, yeah, but, you know, it has to be this size or it has to be worth this much or it has, to, you know, it, it's got to be something sort of impressive here, something worthy of an empress. about this five of swords please yeah your person is realizing there's a lot here about what they were told what they've been shown by people around them especially in younger years you know childhood early teenage years and they're realizing that, that the way they felt was not how the people around them wanted them to be and it's almost like it created a split in their personality they were one person in private another person when they were around people, another person um, externally. <clears throat> and they've kept this up throughout their lives. And you're now asking them to to sort of, not that you're asking them, but this connection is, is challenging them, encouraging them, um, inviting them, is, a, I suppose, a nice way of saying it, to to reconcile these, these parts of themselves. And you know what your person's realizing? That they are angry. Remember that card, I'm pissed off. Yeah, they are pissed off with this, um, with the way that 
that they have been sort of um, forced to be, you know, when they were a child, when they were growing up. And, you know, I suppose you have your caregivers and as a, as a child, you're completely dependent on them. So you you adjust, don't you, to fit, to not be rejected from the, the community or your family. And now they're saying, I'm really angry about this. I'm angry that I wasn't able, I wasn't given room to, to be who I wanted to be. Maybe up until this point, they'd never really sat down and thought about it. They had never thought about the fact that needing to adjust to change who they are was almost like a form of, of rejection. You know, perhaps their parents or we have this father figure card coming out, their father saying, you're not good enough as you are. And now they're angry about it. Because, you know, you can imagine, I mean, look at this, this hermit. You know, he has a grey beard, so we're assuming he's not sort of, um, you know, 20 or something. So this person could have felt that they were living a lie for many decades. And, and um, you know, it's, 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 it's a tough thing, isn't it, to look back and realise that perhaps you could have been happy all these years or you're, you're the, the, the very big, very real decisions you've made that have created the life you're living. Um, could be so different, you know? Um, so I can see that there would be some anger, some frustration at the very least here. Okay, but the good news is the King of Wands with the Seven of Cups in reverse, your person is coming out fighting, they're coming out looking strong and they're coming out of confusion. Perfect. And also the Seven of Cups is illusion. So it's almost like they're saying, okay, bit by bit, I'm going to drop this facade. I'm going to step into my power, into my truth. Um, the king of wands he came out in our reading on monday didn't he you came out as the queen of wands your person again doesn't matter man woman whatever um just the energy your person came out i think the king of wands in the reverse so you see your person is on a journey here they are progressing because now the king is upright he's sitting on his throne and i believe this lizard or salamander here talks about transformation so i think your person is saying i will get there i will make things right libra energy here gemini um please just if you can be patient with me um what i would just like to add about patience is it doesn't mean you have to put your life on hold you know um I, I think honour your feelings day to day moment to moment and not only is that going to be best for you uh, and keeping you from feeling stuck but it's going to help your connection because if you i know many of you resonate as twin flames and high vibrational soulmates so if you are feeling resentful or, or stuck or impatient that's going to feed into your connection so um even if you're focusing on something entirely different i know i get questions about what if i focus on this person or that thing or something else will my person disappear um no, because, it, you know, if you think about the energy, if you're, pers if you're focusing on something else, let's say you decide I'm going to um, start uh, a 30-day yoga challenge and you're doing that and you're feeling really good, your person is picking up on your energy of feeling like you're achieving things, feeling positive, feeling excited. Um, so it's okay. It's perfectly fine to focus on other things if you need to. Uh, what else? Yes, we have Taurus and um, Libra energy over here. So double Libra today. Okay, good. So I think that's that from your person. Let's get some messages from spirit. So last time we have three cards. So let's do the same thing. So right now, just think of um, a number one, two or three. What feels the best to you? What resonates with you? If you need to pause, please do. And I will pull three cards and um, get you a little bit of advice or a helpful message from spirit. So the number one, two or three. I feel like a lot of you might have been seeing twos recently, repeating, you know, like number two, 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 waking up at 2.22 a.m., that sort of thing. Right. Okay, so if you chose number one, let's see what your message is. Okay, let's look at the image first, in case that brings anything to mind. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Okay, so this tells me things might not feel great for you if you've chosen number one with your person. Um, there might be separation or struggles here. You might feel a bit low. Maybe you're, you're waiting to hear from them, that sort of thing. And Spirit is saying, 
in every in any given moment you really do deserve to feel happy you deserve to feel positive um so even if things aren't going exactly as you would hope in your connection right now remind yourself that that's maybe that's one part of you that's one part of your life and and you can obtain joy from other areas and you deserve to feel that joy and again remember if you're feeling positive that will feed into your connection but i'm not saying you know pressure there's pressure you have to always be positive but you do you know you do deserve that okay so let's get a card for number two You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay, so again, something may have happened that you didn't exactly want or it went away that you, you hadn't really planned or hoped for. But Spirit is saying um, this turmoil, this struggle has been necessary and soon you're going to um, see something or gain something that helps you to realise, um, you know, why this happened, to see the benefit. Is that going to focus? Yes, perfect. Okay. And this makes me feel, you know, you're coming out of the darkness here, you're moving um, into a more positive space. So if you chose number three, we have this card playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer okay so if you are for those of you who are in a relationship with your person or you're regularly you know speaking connecting this might be about um injecting some more joy positivity happiness you know like a light energy i'm thinking of that doreen virtue card um flirt you know the um the romance angels cards that kind of an energy of bringing some some fun back if it's been very heavy recently um also if you're not directly speaking with your person remember how i was talking about the yoga challenge doing whatever you feel uh, good about whatever is is fun to you and for me playfulness if you think of like a child playing as a child, you don't believe that every single thing you do must have a purpose beyond having fun. You know, not everything you do must be about learning or achieving something or fixing something. You know, sometimes you do it simply because you want to. You don't even care if the outcome is going to be good. You know, I'm going to paint a picture because I want to paint. It's not because you're trying to get your um, paint painting submitted to a gallery, you know. Um, so... I think go easy on yourself if you've chosen pile three you might be very tough on yourself you might be maybe a perfectionist and spirit saying allow yourself to do something just for the fun of it just for the laughs just for um the joy okay so i will leave this here thank you so much oh no 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 we have to do the one question one card um but if you are heading off thank you for watching um i'll be back on friday and we'll do what's hidden in your connection so anything you need to know anything that's coming in any possible blockages anything spirit can share with you at this time okay so if you would like to leave your question in the comments for the one question one card reading please do and i'll enter you into the draw for next week no sorry next reading which is friday okay so today's winner has an amazing name <laughs> muscle mayhem tv razor khan raza khan Raza Khan? I don't know. Let me know. But so Muscle Mayhem TV, Spirit, can you please show us what is next in this connection? So your question is what's next in my connection? So what can you show us, please, Spirit? What is next in this connection? we have one one card please what's next in this connection you know it's interesting how um we actually have two it's interesting how cards kept trying to pop out but, but wouldn't come out so maybe there's a sense of frustration here you know feeling like things keep getting started but not or there are opp opportunities that keep being missed so first out was the king of wands in reverse so you might be dealing with someone who's uh a bit insecure internally but externally they have you know um maybe they're, they're <laughs> if i'm honest what i heard is they have all the mouth um but what 
uh, you know, not to be rude, that's what I heard, but what I understand that to mean is this is someone who can talk a big game, they want people to think they're very confident, very much, um, you know, in control, but um, deep down they might have a, a feeling of, of insecurity, and someone who might be at times a bit inflexible, um, and someone who perhaps you know, they're running so hot that they're scorching the people around them. They haven't sort of managed to uh, temper themselves. But we have Justice that came out as well. And actually it was after the King of Wands. So what's coming next for you is is balance, rebalancing the scales. If you've been treated unfairly, it looks like you're getting justice coming in. But we go from an energy of lots of uh, fire, passion, but too much, you know, it's uncontrolled here. It's it, This person might sometimes be a bit volatile, temperamental. It looks like we're getting this balanced out with calmness, logic, um, maybe some rational, more rational thinking here. So we've got the head and the heart um, together. So really, it, I think karma is coming in. So, you know, like I said, if you have felt a bit burned by this person in the past, good karma's coming to you to balance that out. I think maybe um, karma conversations um, and just, just a, a more peaceful energy. I mean, passion is great, but not, all, not you know, 100% passion. We, we do need a balance here. Um, otherwise, you know, this person will burn themselves out. Your connection will sort of flare up and then quickly burn to the ground. And they might, like I said, burn the people around them because they don't know how hot they're running. You know, maybe they say things that are very uh, hurtful, very cutting. And then when they calm down, they think everyone should be fine. But they've obviously hurt people's feelings. So anyway, I see a balance here, balance coming in. Um, and I suppose in a way justice being served. Okay, good. So I will leave it here. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a good couple of days and I will see you on Friday. Bye.